Have you ever felt anxious, scared, freaked out? Felt like you were going to faint while getting in front of a camera or a big crowd. Maybe you're doing a presentation. Well, I would like to talk to you about it. Hello, my name is Priest Victoria Har of the EOC. Why I'm here to talk to you about filming today is because when I first started filming, I was nervous and all the emotions to come along with it. In fact, I hated to film myself and I hated crowds. I would a lot of times avoid contact with any, either of these till one day my whole life changed. I met these people that taught me and I learned each day. In fact, those people are none other than my brothers and sisters of the EOC. One day, I was talking to my brother Eric. He took me upstairs on the balcony area and he started talking to me about doing these exercises and I would do anything to get out of them. I was really nervous, I was freaked out and eventually he told me to get in front of that dreaded eyeball called a camera. You ever th wonder why the camera looks like an eyeball? Well, it's looking at you. That's one thing I want you to work on is in front of a camera. That's where I started, so let's do it. Eventually, he told me to get in front of that camera. Again, I say, and I hated doing that in front in fact, I felt like I was crawling out of my skin almost. Maybe it was an outer body experience. As I was doing the filming each day, I got better and better. And eventually, I started filming my stuff on the green screen at the old place. And one day... I started, when I started this filming in front of a green screen, I was stuttering, I was freaked out, I wanted to slowly ease out of the camera and disappear. But unfortunately that didn't happen. The reason why I was getting so good was I was in what's known as my comfort zone. When you get in your comfort zone, you're obviously not going to feel intimidated. But when you're out of your comfort zone, well, you get complacent and you just hate change. Well, one day I was taken out of that. And like always, I was freaked out. I was mad. I was scared. I was... Zah. But when I got up there and I filmed every day, it got easier and easier because I had that confidence that I didn't have before. Now one thing I can talk about in front of a camera is talking about myself. But now I can talk about other things like this sermon for once. And I can do this every day and you get better I, uh, at least I did so now that I've got the filming part of it down it was time to move to the next step which is filming and doing the annotation and enunciating so when you're doing that, you're basically getting in front of a camera and watching a video and making all these weird sounds. Well, well I was enjoying it because every day at two, I'd get one hour or 30 minutes with my husband just making really strange, odd noises. Little did I know that that would help. 
Now, my sister Kelly was the one that wanted me to do all this stuff, and I was like, wow, she's letting me do this with my husband? And all I'm doing is making these funny noises? Well, <laughs> about that. After I learned all those exercises, it was time to implement them on a camera. And later that, about two weeks down the road of making silly noises and doing exercises, it was helping me grow more and more and more each day. My body was still trembling in front of a camera. But one day, that all changed once again. I got in front of the camera and I kicked ass. Now how I kicked ass is that day, among every day, I had a lot of confidence. And the same day that I had that confidence, my video was released. It was released and put out into the clergy only because it was more directed towards my brothers and sisters. I would suggest you ask Kelly about those videos, cause, or even me, because I have a Word document. And those helped me so much. Doing those exercises helped me learn and grow while being silly. <laughs> Believe it or not, that silliness you think is silliness is actually helping you. I hope you learned from this sermon. It was a bit of a longer one than I usually put out, but that's the thing. Don't get complacent. Don't let Satan win. Just push him away. He doesn't deserve your time. God deserves your time. God bless you all. In the name of Lord Rael. Amen. Those within the Ecumenical Order of Christ are pleased and honored to provide everyone with the whole truth behind history, religion, and end-time prophecies. Through our teachings and testimonies, each clergy member is dedicated to seeking out all matters and presenting the unadulterated evidences clearly with the divine guidance of the returned Christ, Lord Rael. We strive to be a light in this dark world, and you can too by helping spread these messages. Many of us have given up our comfortable lives in today's society, and we now live through the kindness and generosity of others in order to pursue the higher path of knowledge. If you wish to continue learning more truths and would like to help us continue our mission, you can do so by sending even a small donation to sanctuaryinterfaithisrael at gmail.com on PayPal. Check us out online at sanctuaryinterfaith.org, lordrayel.org, and armageddonbroadcastnetwork.tv. Don't forget to join us online at the International Congregation of Lord Rael on both Facebook and VK. Please be sure to check out all of the links in the description field. Remember to love God and each other. Thank you and God bless.